Hello, it's Emma Jo here from Lavinia Stamps and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this. This is a 7x7 piece of multifarious card that I've bl uh, blended some elements on. Blah, blah, blended some elements on and we've also stamped some lunar buds, um, some glow flowers, um, there's fox gloves, there's silhouette foliage, there's the, uh, an owl <laughs> and of course there is Astrid. In Wales there's a story of Blade with the girl who was made of flowers and that's where I was going, that was my inspiration behind this. And this was where I was going with that. So enough of me chatting, enough of this chitter chatter woman! Come with me, let me show you how it's done. Okay, so we've got a 7x7 seven seven piece of multifarious card and Elements Ink Sundance and the large stencil brush. And I am just blending in some circular motions the colour. And I'm going to be using a bit of Elements Confetti as well, just to take it to that orange in places and pink and then add some lime punch for a bit of zing. And really, there's no why or wherefore how to do this. It's wherever you fancy. I like to go in a circular movement um, because it just gives that feeling of movement behind the piece. Okay. So we're going to be stamping Astrid and I'm using, on the edge, I'm using uh, Shady Lane and the face will be in Versafine Claire. So her hair will taper off into green. That's my plan. And there we go, I'll pop her in the middle. And then I'm going to use Broadwin, the Flying Owl, and stamp it in Versafine Claire Nocturne. Now let's crack on with the gardening. So I'm using um, those the Lunar Buds stamp, and I'm just placing them around here, there, and everywhere because I like those shapes. They're quite architectural, and I'm using Shady Lane for my foliage my flowers and my foliage. This one over here is the Wildflower stamp. And again, in Shady Lane. And that's just going to be building up this theme of a garden. And it's a very sort of lackadaisical garden, almost self-seeded itself, you know, no control over it. Bless it. And just remember, if you make a smudge or anything, you, we can cover those with flowers don't you worry. Okay, so now I'm adding some foxgloves because I want a bit of height up there. There we go. Let's have them on the other side as well. Again, I'm stamping all of these in Shady Lane. And these are the glow flowers. And funnily enough, as I'm doing this, I can see that you'd be forgiven for thinking she might be about to wear a very stylized 1980s power dress with shoulder pads but she isn't anyway i'm now filling in the gaps with the mini flowers stamp again using shady lane and we're going to show you how to paint astrid well really a lot of this is down to you but i'm showing you my colors so i'm using the acrylic sprays burnt umber and bright white and I'm just taking it right to the edge and mixing it so that there's a touch of pink and just giving this fleshy tone to her neck and face, just for a base. And don't forget, that if you don't like something, it's not a problem. We can add water to it to make it paler or we can blot it. So what I'm going to do now is gradually add colour and you can see here there's a bit of shading going on and you saw me very quickly swipe and blot. So 
If I don't like a colour or it's too strong, I just grab that trusty bit of kitchen towel and give it a blot. I'm also using Posca pens, the glittery blue and pale pink. And I'm just doing some shading. So round the eye sockets, underneath the nose, under the chin, giving her face some shape. And using the purpley pinks for my foxgloves for a first swipe and the pale pink around the outside of the lunar buds. Aha, adding detail with Posca and paint. So I'm doing the flower centres with glittery yellow Posca and I'm just using it straight from the pen. Now I'm painting here with Posca so I will add bits with the pen as well but when I'm painting with it if I want a paler or more watercolour approach I will add some water but here you can see I'm using it quite neat just so that I can get a stronger colour and I'm popping some of that pale pink underneath the owl's wings Aha. Indian Yellow Temple, Mystical Mica Spray and Acrylic Yellow. And I'm going in for the hair. So before we will have done a few little bits of, if you like, shading with the purpley colours. So the bits that were underneath the hair. And now we're going to be adding some of the yellow tones on top. She's just like a ray of sunshine in the middle of the, all these flowers. Fabulous. And again, don't stress if you don't like the colours, just blot them off while they're still wet. And it'll take their tone down. So I'm using some of that lovely yellowy colour in to the wild flowers. And now I'm using the pale pink Posca and the white and yellow to just give those Luna buds some petals. Once you've decided your palette, it's very much a case of use where they where they where you think you want them to go. So I'm giving the wildflowers a little white centre, just to give them some depth. And a dark green Posca pen is going on the stems for the glow flowers, and that's aqua green and white Posca with some water. And I'm just going to colour in the dots of the glow flowers. Now you can vary your tone by adding some of the other Posca colours like the purples, like the other blues and just get some different tones going. And while you've got those there, this is your palette on the right hand side. Just use those to do your little flowers while you can. And I'm going round with neat white Posca pen to sort of give us a sort of daisy look. And here I'm actually dotting the eyes of Astrid. So I've given aqua green Posca pen for the eyes, a couple of white dots to make her eyes sparkle. She's got glittery yellow Posca eyelids and hair and of course a dot on her nose. And again I'm back to my dots on the little yeah, little mini flowers. Haha, mini flowers and dots. So you obviously got a preview there. And here we go. Turn your page to make it easier. Don't make things difficult for yourself. And I'm just seeing more and more gaps and thinking I'm going to add more mini flowers. So I'm using the Versafine Claire Twilight. And I'm colouring things in with the glittery yellow Posca. As usual, I'm using dots because you know what I think? You can build dots up, can't you? Framing the piece with Elements Blending. So I have got Elements Ink Bermuda. I'm just blending round the corners. Do you know what? I love the way it's so atmospheric when you do this. It just frames the piece and finishes it off so nicely. All the colours take on a different tone. And now I'm dotting under the owl's wings. I'm going to show you a bit of a close up on that, I think, just to give you an inkling what I was doing. There we go. So there's some orbs and some dotting 
and it just brings that owl to life a bit. Add some extra depth with watercolour pencils. Now I'm using the Brunzeal watercolour pencils and I'm not adding water to them, I'm just picking out some colours that will lift the hair round her face. And you, my friends, you've done it. So I, th I really enjoyed this. It's the first time in ages that I haven't actually put a sticker sentiment on my card. I've just left it. And I like her like this. I, I think she's whimsical, which is exactly what I wanted. Exactly. I wanted this feeling of magic without any sign of stars or anything like that. Just natural, bing, magic. Lovely. Anyway, enough of me chatting. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Thank you very much for coming along and watching this tutorial this week. If you have any comments, any questions, please pop them in the post below and I will do my best to get back in touch with you. You take care and have fun having a go. Bye.